you don't need a PIX card at all. Every restaurant you go to, um, it's paid for. You just show up, you say your name, and you have to give a number, like a caviar number. It's usually like a four-digit number. Usually, when you go in, you just give that number, and the person gives you the item, and that's it. You're set. You're all ready to go. Unlike Postmates, where, you know, majority of the jobs, you have to like, go in and place the order. I think that's old school. It's going to be really hard for me to accept Postmates jobs in the future. Because if it's the type of job where I know I'm going to have to place the order, I'm probably not going to do it. Because I could just go to Caviar or DoorDash or some other app. And it'll be easier in shorter time. Cool thing about this Caviar order I just accepted, this is an $18 order. And it's going from Mission District to south of Selma. So I'm thinking somewhere, you know, around 3rd Street, 5th Street, 1st Street, 2nd Street, somewhere down there. The thing that sticks out about this job, like I accepted the job, as soon as I accepted the job, I have about maybe 15 minutes to wait at the restaurant for the food to be prepared. And from there, jump on the scoot, deliver the food, maybe another 15 minutes. So, way less than an hour, I can make 18 bucks, and hopefully I can, like, just jump on another delivery. I was totally correct. This order is going all the way downtown. Third Street. Just dropped off the big order, the $18 order. Really easy. And... As I was on the way dropping that order off, I accepted another order, an $11 order, which is at the Plant Cafe. You guys remember the Plant Cafe? It's actually not that far away. I'm going to go there now, go pick up the food, take it to, I think it's Peck Heights. It's a straight shot to the drop-off location, so I'm pretty stoked. Just got to the Plant Cafe, you know, the place where I had the, um, the beet cheeseburger in the fries a couple days ago. Okay. So I'm waiting on the order. Um, I'm actually late, like two, three minutes late. That's what the app is telling me. The restaurant, on the other hand, doesn't have the food ready, so I'll wait two, three minutes and then go back inside, pick up the order, ride over to Peck Heights. Quick drop off. You guys ever around here in this area? This is Pier 3. Check out this spot, it's pretty cool. Over here are like the cleanest public bathrooms I've found in San Francisco. Like, I was actually surprised that you can actually find clean bathrooms in this city, still. Back downtown, it's what, 12, 21. Everything's dead. Now, today's Wednesday. Wednesday, Thursday, I usually try to take off because in the whole delivery business, those are um, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday tend to be not as busy as the rest of the days of the week. Right now, I am running DoorDash, Caviar, and Postmates all at the same time, and I'm just trying to get one request on something, and there's like nothing coming through. And it's lunchtime. It's like crazy busy. It's around the first of the month. Maybe people just paid their rent so they're not splurging like normal. That should definitely change. This weekend should be pretty busy. So nice not to be stuck in an office building all day. You to go outside and explore. I said, man, traffic's pretty thick today. I'm glad I'm not in a car, for sure. It would be um, a lot trickier to get around. I want to know how long I'm going to go without getting any requests because it's been about, I don't know, 20 minutes now? Everything's dead. Alright, so one cool thing about Caviar to know. In one of the Facebook groups, someone was talking about how, how much they love Caviar. And they gave an example of this time where they deliver like four bags of food, like right down the street, basically. They were talking about how the payout was like pretty high. It was like 30 bucks. Now you may not think that 30 bucks would be pretty high, but yeah, it is pretty high if you're just walking right down the street. With other services like, you know, Postmates, they would probably give you like five dollars or seven dollars, and you would have to cross your fingers for a tip. 
this one's going pretty far away it's going outer sunset so I think I'm gonna switch out my scoop don't know how much juice I have left I probably have enough juice to get there but don't know if I have enough juice to get back but there is a um, garage over there it's really close I already requested my scoot so I'm gonna drive by switch it out and off I go start this next one booyah just finished the last order the really the big order the $22 order now I'm way out here in the outer sunset and it is chilly out here like it's hella cold gotta zip my jacket all the way up right after I dropped that order off I received another order which is like really close it's on the way downtown but it's like really close maybe six blocks away and then that pickup is going in the direction of downtown it's not going downtown but it's going in the direction the same direction I need to go so that'll be a pretty cool one and by the time I get there looks like the order will be ready this order the drop-off location couldn't be any better it's the same way that I was gonna go with order or without order so it's pretty sweet I can just make a little quick pit stop drop it off continue going downtown so I was headed downtown accepted another request this request is what on the edge of downtown and it's headed more into downtown and it's headed closer towards my bike too so I think I'm gonna get ready to end the day I'm almost at a hundred dollars with caviar for today so that's pretty sweet trying to pull a hundred dollars on a Wednesday with Postmates is like well, you're gonna be working your butt off bam sometimes long hallways trip me out just finished up with that DoorDash delivery let's get down to the first floor back to the scoot I think I'm gonna be done this is like the best time though it's dinner time but I'm not gonna work dinner time I'm gonna hang out with my girlfriend <laughs> 